I don't know what I'm ready for, but I am ready, so. What is this? <laughs> I'm asking you questions, actual exam questions. Oh, this is not good. Uh, do we have to be really smart? Okay, okay. Okay. I'm ready to look foolish. How's the Earth's mantle like a peanut butter sandwich? A, the mantle has three layers like a peanut butter sandwich. B, the mantle is sticky like peanut butter. C, the top and bottom layers of the mantle are the thickest parts. Or D, peanut butter sandwiches feel like the hard rocks found in the mantle. I'm tempted to say um, three layers like the mantle. I'm so lost, I forgot about the, wait, the mantle. Okay, there's the crust in the mantle. What, what grade is this for? <laughs> you don't even know? Do you know the answer? I know that. C. To be honest, I don't think the top and the bottom is the hardest. Dang it! I forgot! I was so thinking about peanut butter. So I'm gonna say um, it's got three layers like a PB and J. B. I'm going with B. A! No way! Ah! Yeah! What is a microphone? What's a microphone? True or false? Okay. What? <laughs> what do you mean? What is it, true or false? I don't really understand the question, but the power of multiple choice gives me a 50-50 chance, so I'm gonna go with true. True or false? True. F what is true? I'm going with true. It doesn't give me an answer. Oh, great. What is an apple? Uh, it is a f Fruit. A piece of fruit. An apple is a delicious fruit. Is this an essay question? It's a fruit. <laughs> it's like the earth, you know? It's got a, a crust, it's got a nice juicy inside, and it's got a core. Bob is 36 candy 36 bars. He eats 29. What does he have now? You know what? I could do this if I had a calculator, but my math is so atrociously terrible that I'm just gonna admit it. I'm an idiot. I can't do any math in my head whatsoever. Seven! So, Bob has seven candy bars. Easy, seven. He has diabetes. What? That was a math question. <laughs> I don't know him personally. Bob's a hungry guy. I feel you, Bob. And also, how big are these bars? Because like, if they're fun size, I'm with you. To change centimeters to meters, you. Um, times by one centimeter would be you just it multiply by a thousand. Well, 10 centimeters would be 0. point. Convert. You convert it? I don't know. One meters. So I think you keep measuring. Yeah. <laughs> you type, so yeah, that's the conversion. So what's the question again? You count them up, but you add a 0. point, like a decimal point. So if it's one centimeter, it would be 0. Point 0. 0.01 meters. So I think you divide it by, by 10. But you can also take up the centi. Oh, you take out the centimeter. Get it? <laughs> Shut up! Was that an English question? You should tell where these are coming from. <laughs> Which of the following statements is true? True or false? <laughs> um, that is totally depending on whether the statement is true. All of them. <laughs> it's true. It totally depends on the answer, so this could render it both true and false. Um, it's false. Everything's a lie. Everything you've ever, ever known is a lie. And because it could render it both true and false, I'm tempted to say false, but who actually knows? Depends what the answer is. False. A mammal has a body length of both 120 centimeters. Estimate the brain weight of this mammal. Oh, easy. Why? <laughs> I don't want to. The weight? So I have to keep it metric. Thousand pounds! This is impossible because what kind of mammal is it and is there a calculation? 0.2 kilograms to 10 kilograms. I don't know. Help! 25 pounds. Maybe roughly my height. And if it's anything like me, it's got a big brain. What's the answer? These were actually funny. Liam doesn't even have the answers to these questions. This is, I bet this is like written up by those people that say they went to the school of life in a really patronizing way. But no, go to actual school and ask some actual questions.